Hey peoples and welcome to Frozen Gaming. Here I am playing Portal 2, just like I used to do back in my first videos. Um, anyway, this is going to talk about a few things in this video. It's been a while since I've done one of these sort of videos where I just talk to you guys. And I just want to talk about what's been going on, not only with the channel but with YouTube and the meaning behind my new inclusion of um, the segment Let's Green, green Light. Um, so basically, well, starting off with what's happening with the channel, I'm still continuing the channel. It's going to keep going on, and even with these recent YouTube changes, I'm still going to keep growing my channel and giving you guys content. Um, we currently are sitting at 120 subscribers, so I just want to thank you guys for the continued support and and also to the new subscribers for subscribing um, thank you, it really does mean a lot to me and I hope I continue to bring out more content that you guys enjoy and yeah it's still the Frozen Gaming is still going to be a YouTube channel I mean a gaming channel on YouTube obviously and yeah just have to change a few things up <coughs> because of the recent YouTube changes which I'll get into now now if you guys weren't aware, about a week ago, actually exactly a week ago, YouTube implemented new changes to YouTube, which um, people that only just watch YouTube won't notice, but um, people that are actually, you know, networked and posting videos on YouTube would notice the fact that they've implemented an a new content ID system mainly to combat against the YouTube channels that like to post up entire movies and entire songs, entire TV episodes, entire like artist albums and discographies and things like that and then somehow get partnered with a network obviously because the networks are getting lazy and just wanting to partner anybody which possibly may have been my case so I'm grateful for them for accepting me, but it would have been better had they, you know, actually checked out the content that these channels have been posting, even if it, they checked mine and checked the subs and, you know, views and said, sorry, you don't have enough subs or views. That's better than just accepting everybody. Um, yeah. And so they put in this new content ID system and it just went absolutely ain't it just went spastic and started content ID matching all this content mainly on gaming channels, I add. And you know, such as Angry Joe and um, PewDiePie had some and he wasn't majorly affected but he had some, I think. Um, so I heard. I haven't heard anything from him. Um, the Rad Brad was affected badly. Um, who else? A few, like quite a lot of YouTubers have been affected by this. Even like not just the large ones, like the medium-sized ones and the small ones. Somehow, I don't know how, but I completely avoided all of that. Um, let's see if let's restart the level, shall we? So we've got something to watch while I play. Um, yeah, so it's mainly been affecting gamer channels for some strange reason. Even though, you know, it was originally aimed at these people that aren't post there that, that are posting, you know, whole videos and or whole movies and whole songs and all that. Because I obviously don't agree with that. The fact that people are on YouTube putting up whole movies movies. I do enjoy watching whole movies on there sometimes, like if I'm waiting for my video to render or something like that, then I'll just jump on and watch some long video just to pass the time sort of thing, but and I do think it's okay to post like old movies that wouldn't be bringing in much revenue but that person that posts it should not be getting like paid for that video because it has absolutely nothing to do with them like they all they did was 
they recorded it onto a video. Like, whether or not they just, you know, ripped it off a DVD or, I don't know, downloaded it off the internet and then posted it up onto YouTube. But nothing of them is put into the movie. And so for that they should get paid nothing. Um, and people, you know, kind of have that sort of called mentality when it comes to the gaming channels as well that we that we shouldn't be getting paid for you know playing video games that we didn't make but there's a huge difference between you know doing let's plays and doing reviews and stuff for video games than there is there is you know posting whole movies or whole songs or you know putting videos up for torrents and stuff like that um, the fact is, you know, we show people out there that don't, they either don't have the money to buy the game, or they don't have, they're not quite decided on buying the game, and they just need some further encouragement about what the game is about. And, you know, <coughs> us posting these videos up there lets those people see that, and then they can make a better decision about the games that they make, especially with their reviews. Not so much Let's Plays, like, I can't understand with Let's Plays, but even with that, like, even with me, I put my own personality into the Let's Plays, and some things that, about the games I might enjoy might be something that the people don't enjoy, and they might enjoy something else that, I don't know, I don't seem to notice as much. And by doing that, you know, the person, the whole experience of playing the game is not taken away by them watching Let's Plays. Uh, for example, when, because I'm a huge PewDiePie fan, I have been since, I don't know, over two years now, you know, back when he was about, I don't know, 200,000 subscribers? And, um, yeah, and I watched his Let's Play for to the moon, some indie game that he played quite a while ago, and I absolutely love the story of that game, and like so much that halfway through his let's play I stopped watching, went and downloaded the game, or purchased it and downloaded it off the actual developer, and you know played it to the end for myself, so it's getting shorter and shorter each time, you know I'll stay here for now. Um, yeah, and played it for myself, and I still enjoyed it as if I had never watched the Let's Play, and, you know, it it's still different, like, in, you can watch many Let's Plays, you could watch my Let's Plays, you could watch other people's Let's Plays, and they would be different, like, video-wise, it'd be pretty much the same, same story will be the same, but, you know, our own personalities that we put into it will be completely different. Like with more serious games, I try. I tend to act a bit more seriously, and then with more silly games, I tend to act more silly. It's just how I am, and you know, I'm not going to be someone fake. I'm not trying. I'm not going to try and be PewDiePie. PewDiePie is the best at being PewDiePie. <coughs> and personally, you shouldn't be trying to be someone else. Just be yourself. That's mainly why I don't really do scary games. Not, it's not that I don't get scared. It's just um, like my scared reactions aren't that fun to watch. It's just more of like a startled, like I'll kind of like jump and maybe you'll get a huh, that sort of thing. But it's not much more than that, um, unless you know I'm properly scared or someone scares me while I'm playing that game or something like that. Then you'll get a more amusing scared reaction <laughs> other than that no nah. not really I do enjoy horror games but it's not that fun to watch me play horror games um, I might change up later on and do some horror games but at the moment no nah, it's not gonna happen so anyway yeah that's and the other thing actually I'll put that into the next section I'm talking about the let's green light section. Now, the whole reason I wanted to do this let's green light section, and it's actually going to be a main staple of this channel, is pretty much 
you know, with the new YouTube changes, lots of publishers, well, not lots of publishers, but there are a few publishers that find, you know, the free promotion on YouTube negative because of, you know, they think that it's pretty much stealing their content, sharing it with people so they can make better decisions on games they want to buy. And, you know, people, uh, publishers don't want negative reviews about their games and stuff like that, but simple solution to that is for them just to stop making stupid retarded games and just make good games um, yeah so with green light I'll be highlighting you know um, indie developers that haven't I either have broken out sort of thing and had a successful game or but uh, starting a new project that hasn't been released yet or, you know, indie developers that haven't broken out yet and that I want to try and bring to light and show you guys so you guys can, you know, help <coughs> if this is only if you enjoy the game um, help, you know, bring their game or make their game a reality so they can get approved by, by Valve and they can start making their games and bring them out for us to enjoy and that way we can build like a ecosystem of indie games purely of games that we want to play but not only that but oh, what I really want for this channel <coughs> other than you know just growth sort of thing of the channel is to try and build an ecosystem where we have the power not just myself but we have the power to you know bring these games out and make them successful and by by that I mean, you know, obviously I'm going to show you some games that I like, but that's only games I like. So you guys are free to let me know of games that you've seen on Steam Greenlight or Newgrounds or wherever you can find indie games. <coughs> Preferably ones that haven't been properly released yet, but you can, you know, suggest them to me and I can put them up on my thing to help show other people. And then, you know, as a community sort of thing, we can control we have more control of the games that we get into our thing and it will also help you know publishers like Nintendo mainly that do not like us sharing the content it will help us show them you know just how wrong they are about the decision of not wanting to share their content and how powerful YouTube is as a source of free promotion for their games to help people you know make better choices maybe they're not determined to buy the game yet because they don't think how this will work out like with Rise. Anyone who would watch a preview of Rise would just think it's some game that's just completely like quick time events and that's not the case. Quick time events only usually came you know for the executions but you could still just kill the person and not do an execution. That was it. But you wouldn't know that unless you played the game or unless you watched a let's play. And that's what the power of gaming on YouTube is. It helps people out there make better decisions about the games they want to play. It makes, it helps people that can't afford the games to still kind of enjoy the games even if they're not playing it. And yeah, and with this new Let's Green Light, we can help try and build a library of games through indie developers that we want to play. Because as great as mainstream games are, I still find indie games much more entertaining and much more interesting because they do things that are different to mainstream. They don't stay safe. They try different things like different engines and different ways of telling a story or different just anything anything they can think of they will do. They don't play it safe like mainstream. Like Call of Duty for example. That's just been playing it safe for all this time. Same with EA, EA and EA Sports. They've been playing it safe and been playing it a bit too safe. If you ask me, if it comes to NBA Live not, uh, 14, and yeah, I don't know if you guys actually heard about that. The EA actually made a comment about NBA Live 14, saying that they actually realised that it is a bad game. So if it's a bad game. Why did you release it? 
I reckon they thought, nah, we can get away with this. We're EA. We, you know, we are where people go to for sports games. So we don't have to put all this tech, new technology into the new next-gen console games and stuff like that. We can just pretty much wing it. You know, we'll just port it up from the 360 and then make it look a bit better here and there. And then we'll push it out. It's all good, mate. And then once they start getting all the bad reviews, and then when they're getting compared to NBA 2, 2K14, yeah, it didn't look too good, so they finally came out and made a mention about, you know, uh, we realised that game wasn't good. Well, why put it out? Why damage your name more? Because like EA's been going really bad lately. Uh, with the Battlefield 4 problems and now with the EA Sports problems like Madden sp- I haven't played Madden <coughs> the only one I've played so far is FIFA 14 which to me seems exactly like the last FIFA I played with slightly better graphics the shirt mechanics are pretty much the same as last or as previous gen is that still current gen or is I don't know how that works because next gen is out now so isn't wouldn't that be current gen now and make the Xbox 360 previous gen, or is that still current gen, and these ones are next gen, I don't know, anyways, um, yeah, the game felt exactly the same, the buttons were the same, the physics felt the same, even with their new Ignite engine, which they hyped up to all high hell, and it was such a flop, but the graphics don't look anywhere near as good as they demonstrated in the E3 conference was it E3 or it might have been E3 or the um, announcement for of the Xbox One where they announced the Ignite engine and they showed all these pretty little pre-rendered clips of you know NBA and in FIFA and Madden and well NFL and all that and then the game has come out and they look pretty much the same there wasn't really anything exciting about it it makes me really wonder about how good MMA is going to look. Because they showed, you know, those videos and they looked awesome, but they did the same for FIFA and NBA and all that, and then they looked terrible. They looked nothing like those videos. <coughs> so anyway, that was a bit off topic. Um, yeah, so basically I just want... The main thing I want for this channel is for us to build up a community of you know, people that love games, that, you know, want their voice voices heard about what games they want. I'll still be doing, um, it's called mainstream games as well. Actually, starting of next year, like close to the beginning of next year, I'll be doing a complete let's play of all the Assassin's Creed, ga- Creed games. Um, this is mainly because of the YouTube changes that are supposed to be implemented at the beginning of the year where in I may not get past the review process for monetization which isn't a big deal but yeah well I have he- have read that Ubisoft, or Ubisoft is fine with people sh- sharing their content and actually monetizing their videos so I'm going to use the Assassin's Creed series which is one two Brotherhood Revelations 3 and 4 to help build up my trust algorithm with YouTube so I hopefully get past that review process like doing that because that would be a lot of episodes I'd imagine that'd probably take me up all the way up to probably maybe March April <laughs> oh, I'm going to be all Assassin's Creed out by then I will I'll, I'll still be doing some green light I let's green light uh, segments in between those and in amongst those to mix it up a bit because I don't want to just flood my channel with Assassin's Creed stuff because I don't know it just I don't know like that long of Assassin's Creed I don't think is a good way to build up your subscriber base <laughs> unless you want just hardcore Assassin's Creed fans where we can all talk about you know the crazy story and what the endings mean and stuff like that but Anyway, this video is starting to get a bit too long. So, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing next year. Like the beginning of next year, starting off the Assassin's Creed just to build up my trust algorithm to skip the review process so I can post up my video straight away. <sighs> and yeah, 
I just want to thank you guys again for the support you've been showing and I hope you do like these new implementations that I'm doing and I hope you will support um, what I'm doing and hopefully watch my episodes of Let's Green Light and give me your suggestions and give me um, give me feedback of what I'm giving you sort of thing and hopefully go and yes vote these green light games that you like and yeah like feel free if you guys are constantly on Steam Greenlight feel free to send me suggestions or on new grounds or other places where you can get indie games and stuff like that send me suggestions I'll put, put them up here I'll say that you suggested it to me and you know hopefully people in this community will see that and then they'll be like oh yeah then you can get the game that you guys like so yeah that's it I'm going to finish this video before I start blabbering on again. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching my video, and until I see you guys next time, stay awesome.